and today we are talking about spacesuits. Now, you have seen some of our amazing screen accurate costumes and as proud as I am that I made these, this is not one of them. These are our budget friendly spacesuits. So we used to rent our spacesuits. We were an annual cast. We've said it a couple of times. We only would do, show, do shows once a year. And so we would rent our space. They look something like, like this. They're beautiful. Mm -hmm. They were, they looked screen accurate and fantastic. They were that nice gold, heavy quilted material. However, they didn't always fit. It was one set of spacesuits that did have the side panels. So no matter what actors that we rented them mm -hmm. for, the never, same spacesuits were sent. They never quite fit right. And Q, last year, we're about to do a show at a drive-in, and Jamie and I look at each other and go, We don't have, we don't have spacesuits. spacesuits. And we didn't have the money to no. rent them on such short notice because we did not get a lot of notice for that drive-in show. But we made it work. I looked at Allie and I said, What can you do with $30? $30 and four days. <laughs> so what I did is we started with a gold tablecloth that I measured, I cut, and if we want to show the inside, ooh, 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 there's the inside. It's doubled over to give it some weight. Um, these are really warm. I'm just going to warm you right they now. They are the quilted, thicker yeah. tablecloths. They have a flannel. To give it structure. Yeah, they have a flannel um, backing. So I doubled it over. We've got gold duct tape we've got black duct tape over eva costume cosplay foam that is cut and hot glued to our shape here literally four days four days thirty dollars will this win me an academy award for best costume design no will this win me an award for most ingenuitive manic episode where I produced something? Yes! And they looked great on stage. When you're at a distance they in a did. dark theater, they really do. It, they do the job. And so this is one of those things where you've seen our luscious boas, you've seen our screen accurate costumes, and then we've got stuff that's made out of EVA foam and duct tape that come in separate pieces because we understand that there's no wrong way to do this. Sometimes you gotta build your pieces. We got a belt that we got from Amazon. The gauntlets for the arm are just more EVA foam, you know, duct taped and, and hot glued. And this is one of those things, we're saving up for real space suits, like Jamie saved up for the boas. It's not gonna be something you're gonna have out the gate. And if you do, that's awesome. Good for you. Yeah, uh, I'm envious. But again, you don't always have to have everything perfect to do Rocky. There's no wrong way to Rocky. Even if you show up in foam and a tablecloth, you turn it. It's all about your attitude. And with that being said, for years and years and years while we were renting those spacesuits, we also had a handmade mm -hmm. laser gun that was made out of a devil's pickaxe and spray paint. That handgun tried real hard. It lasted 10 years of our cast's yep. existence. It was made by our incredible cast member, Rachel. Mm -hmm. And it looked great. It did. From a distance, it really got the job done. But she was starting to show her age over time. So meanwhile, while we're wearing tablecloths and duct tape, we have... We went on Etsy uh -huh. and found satin worshippers who make these incredible 3D printed laser guns. What a time to be alive. I, I remember they when are. I was a baby cast member, you'd have to build this out of PVC or something. 3D printing. <laughs> so these aren't the most durable no. ones. You do have to be careful. Mm -hmm. I always say that my cast members are being slightly threatened and if you break it, you are in trouble. Yes. However, this is a great option. It was $25. It's a fantastic investment. I bought the one that was unpainted and unassembled. I used epoxy to put it mm -hmm. together. And I mean, yeah, it's it, beautiful. Eventually we're gonna paint it so that it has a little bit of a different shine. If it doesn't happen this year, it's okay. It's okay because we, we understand that it's a process. It's not going to be the finished product right away. And again, it's all about your attitude. If you're having fun and you're selling what you bring, people are gonna buy it. You just have to, 
you know, Rocky with your heart. Rocky with your heart. <laughs> I guess. want it. So again, if you have any questions about how I built the spacesuit, if you need any advice about what Dollar General kind of setup I got going here, drop a comment, let me know. Or if you have any advice how to make one that I wouldn't have thought of, let us know. We're always here to help you. Yep. We're going to continue talking to you about our costumes and taking you with us on this little journey. So thanks for hanging out, guys. See you soon. Bye, guys.